Today, we're going to look at Labyrinth, War on Terror, card by card. We hope you'll join us in exploring this amazing game. This is Legendary Tactics. And we begin with Viera de Mayo slain. Yes. Okay. The beloved so... UN leader killed in the war zone. So, oh what do you? What, <laughs> oh my. How do you? How do you tackle this one? <laughs> <laughs> if Rajiv Gandhi has a cell, then it's a minus one prestige, and it blocks you in. Uh, you know what? The card's decent. I would say for the jihadi player, if if a regime country has a cell, I'm playing this for the event. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're losing a prestige guaranteed, and it blocks a, a, a U.S. event. So yes, the UN nation one, building for event. One op, yeah, 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 that's totally fair trade off. Um, as the U.S. player, um, you know, I think it's, you know, it's tolerable if you have to play it. I mean, the, the only thing is, it's just a one up. So I wouldn't be heartbroken if I if if I didn't have anything else better to hold or like hold until the end to the to discard um, without triggering. Um, this is fine. But I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, probably. If no, you no, know. no, yeah, and and uh, I'm sure if you had it in hand, you would probably play it before you uh, regime changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You can always time it a little bit that way. But if you're stuck in a regime change, oh uh, yeah, and that regime change usually will have a sell. Um, I'm not going to lose sleep over the event, but it just it's too bad it's only one off. That's <laughs> that you're yeah. getting in exchange yeah, for losing of, a prestige. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Abu okay. Sayyaf. Jihadists align with Moro Separatists. Now, this is this is an interesting event because it's actually like really, like there's a story to this one. Oh, yeah. Right? Like okay. place a cell in the Philippines. Well, this is in, card is in effect. The U.S. may deploy there. So you can actually send troops into the Philippines, which normally, because the Philippines is not a, uh, you know, traditional Muslim country, yep. you can't deploy troops there. Um, and you lose one prestige for each each plot placed unless troops outnumber cells. Yes. So it can and now it can be blocked by Moro. Yes, Moro but, talks. Uh, yes, but but I mean this this card is like as I said, there's a like a, a story building up around this one. It's potentially turning the Philippines into a a, uh, a hotbed. Yeah, that's um, true. Yeah. However, I honestly I don't find too many times. Um, that this really is triggered all that. You know, no, it hasn't come into play it a is, lot. No. Yeah, no. like the the advantage of the Philippines as a space, the reason what makes it stand out over other spaces is mainly because uh, it's right next door to the U.S. So you can actually get access to the U.S. that way. Um, you know, but this, I don't know, like it's it just doesn't seem like it's a high priority. Um, no, and there may be two, better it, things it, to do with yeah. those two ops. Yeah, I agreed. I mean, I don't mind getting the uh, the sell down, but especially if it's in, you know in the Philippines, a different area. But besides that, it's not. Um, yeah, well, it is beside the U.S., so it, it does have that out to it. You can actually travel um, as long as Patriot Act isn't in effect. You can just travel right there. But yeah, it's yeah. just funny. It's it seems like it's it was this card was put. There was a lot of thought put into this card, and it was definitely something that. Um, they wanted to include, but I just I don't find it play out that that often. You know, it's it, potentially it's good because you can, um, you know, uh, cause a lot of prestige lost, and because you, you'll notice it's for each plot placed, not that goes off. It just has right. to be placed there. Yeah. So you know, something like um, a martyrdom operation can place two plots and lower two prestige. So it's yeah, it's true. definitely kind of part of the equation, but I I I don't know. I've just never really seen it used all that much for whatever yeah. reason. So yeah, yeah. But uh, but so for that reason, I'm fine to trigger it as the U.S. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't bother me per se. Again, there are worse events to mitigate, I'm sure, than this one. Yeah, yeah, true. Al Anbar. Al Anbar, Sunni Resistance Sanctuary. So this is kind of like the solder kind of one in a way. Like it's, it kind of limits your ability to uh, disrupt and so forth in Iraq. So places a cell in Iraq and disrupt in Iraq or Syria. Interesting effect, one cell only. Um, it does block US bin Laden and Zawahiri. Um, and it itself is blocked by Ambar Awakening. So 
I think the the I don't know for, as a U.S. Uh, player, I I don't like playing this event because you know certainly if the U.S. Bin Laden and Zawahiri cards have not been played and gotten out of the deck by now, um, the you know disrupting just one cell only. I mean, you, number one, you got to be in Syria, you got to be yeah, in Iraq yeah, first. Yeah. So yeah, it's not like it's no, not make it's, or break. No, and it's pretty specific. I would probably take the ops myself. I wouldn't be using this event too much. Yeah. And again, it, it, and we've chatted about this in previous videos. It just seems like Iraq is kind of the, the you know, one of the, the potentially game-ending Islamist rule countries. <laughs> so yeah. it's it's not necessarily that it's there's a It's not high on the priority list right away. Yeah. I mean, again, in a different scenario, we're talking primarily of, of um, Let's Roll and... Um, and uh, and uh, you can call me Al here. S you know, in those scenarios, Iraq is just, I don't know, I just don't find I've got troops there a lot. It's yeah, no. more about, you know, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Gulf states, uh, Indonesia, you know, those kind of places. So, yeah. um, but it's, you know, it's good to know Ambar Awakening gives another, you know, value to Ambar Awakening, which is a pretty decent, you know, little um, U.S. event. Yeah. Amerithrax. U.S. Domestic Terror Distraction. Oh, boy. <laughs> As a I actually player. really, I really like this card. Oh, it is a great event for the I Jihadi like player. this event. I often play it for the event. It's oh, a great event for the uh, Jihadis. It is totally worth playing the event. I, yeah. I don't know why anyone would take... You'd have to be pretty desperate for two ops to not take this event. Yes, agreed. You're getting rid of probably... If you played early, you're getting rid of a three-banger U.S. event, right? So Yes. Yes, and yeah, and 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 really, it's it's uh, yeah, it's it's really it. This is actually one of the better. I would say it's one of the better uh, jihadi events actually, because the other ones that involve losing cards are always random, and you can you can cause them to discard a you know potentially beneficial card, yeah. jihadist event, right? But yeah. this one hammers the U.S event specifically and, and so, i've actually i would uh, even consider oil sands for this event too or oil like spike that's, that's how yeah. that's oil spike yeah that's yeah. how good this card is because it's it is yeah, yeah. it is it's, it it's is a premier event yes and it, it, as the u.s you can mitigate it easily just wait sure. until you've got no u.s events left in hand uh or it's the last card and you can play it safely yeah but that's uh, true. it is deadly in the hands of the jihadi player for sure oh yeah oh yeah buto shot yes um, so yeah, jihadists kill Pakistani moderates. So, um, if Pakistan has a cell, Benazir Bhutto is actually a pretty decent event. Um, yeah, it and is. And to block Benazir Bhutto, Bhutto if uh, uh, you know, I think it's it, it. This one's situational, I would say, for the jihadi player. What do you think? Yeah, agreed. I mean, um, you get a cell in. Uh, you get a cell in. Uh, Pakistan is pretty good. No, no, you you play it if it has a cell. The only oh, effect just is to block. Yeah, Benazir no. Bhutto. Generally, I'm not playing this for the event, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, as I said, Benazir Bhutto is a pretty decent event overall. Um, so it might, you know, depending on the context, it. I it mean, might if be it's in, if 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 Benazir is in play, sure, I'll block it. Yeah, um, and just maybe as a reminder, I'll just uh, I'll just go back to that. Um, so the Benazir Bhutto event is. No jihad there, so you cannot do jihad in Pakistan. Uh, if it poor, shift to fair, it blocks Musharraf. Mush, uh, Musharraf. Yep. So it's it's pretty good to like kind of lock down Pakistan as a as a safe kind of spot, right? Because you, you they, there's no jihad possible there. It helps shift it to fair, and um, it, yeah. Musharraf is one of those annoying events that. Uh, sometimes it helps and sometimes it hinders. Uh, yes. But if you've yes. got Pakistan at, at at good ally, then Musharraf's a pain in the butt. <laughs> so this yes. blocks that uh, yeah, you know, yeah. for you, which is good. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's it's if you if uh, as a jihadi player you want access to Pakistan, I'd probably say you know you you might want to use this as as a way to maybe get at those WMDs, but. Now, uh, as, as yeah, U.S., would you let stops. this? Uh, would you let this play, or would you uh, actively work to make sure no um, cells are in Pakistan? I would say if Benazir Bhutto is already in play, um, I'd hesitate. If if not, I'm probably focused on other things, and I can use the two ops. 
And because okay. I don't know if Benazir Bhutto will enter play at a later point, right? You, right. Maybe, maybe it gets uh, first plotted or whatever. I, I get, you know, I get hit with a Marathrax and I have to discard it. Um, so I might consider it if Benazir Bhutto is already in force. But otherwise, no, I would probably, um, you know, play just for mitigate. The play, play, and, play for the points. And so, I yeah. could potentially mitigate it with some, you know, a couple disrupts and get the cells out of there, and then I can play it safely. So it's it's a manageable thing. So Okay, detainee release, jihadist recidivism. Yes. So this is, I don't know, I, I, this one always kind of confuses me too a little bit with the, so if the U.S. disrupted this or last action phase, so you In have the to... the last two turns, I guess? Yeah, kind of, yeah, it's like, it's it's uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it, it's uh, a bit vague in terms well, of... Well, because I the think, jihadis but, go first, right? So yeah. how could they have done so this turn? <laughs> it has to, yeah. But it's like, well, did they, what if they disrupted the last action phase of the previous turn? Yes, I don't know. Does yeah. that count? Like, yeah, so this yeah. the, the wording on this is a bit disruptive. Is a bit. Uh, is it disruptive? Confusing. Nicely it's done. A, it's disruptive. <laughs> yes. I was. My eyes were set uh, sitting on that word as I was <laughs> talking. Yes. Anyway, but if it's an obvious thing, like if I disrupt and then your next card is this one. Yeah, I mean, to, to draw a card is nice. Yes. So, so that's and kind to of get a nice cell bonus. back where the disrupt occurred, <laughs> right. and and it blocks two events. No, it blocked bo- blocks oh, by oh. Gitmo or renditions. Oh, oh, there's two. It blocks by. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. you can undo a disrupt potentially, um, and you get another card. Uh, the only thing is for two is that, ups. Yeah, you're giving up. Yeah, it's two up card. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean where where the disrupt occurred though, like you may be feeding the U.S. Op, uh, disrupt opportunities, which then they can turn into prestige, right? That's the only downside. So if you if you place the cell, let's say they emptied the country of cells, and then you place the cell where the disrupt occurred, then well, now they've got another couple disruption opportunities to yeah, gain another prestige. couple prestige, right? Yeah, so that's true. It could it could actually backfire. Yeah, a little bit. But you know what? If it's in a if it's in a poor governance country, um, then you're probably pretty safe because there's not that many three ops cards, and you know it could be something that could yeah, help you okay. out. So so situational. I agree. Yep. Yeah, very situational. Yep. But it's a worthwhile event, especially if it was just placing a cell. I would say it wouldn't be worth taking. But the drawing the card is really the the benefit there. And again, so, uh, as a U.S. player, this is easy to mitigate. Just don't disrupt. Um, and then play and it. And then play it. And then you're good. Yeah. XKGB. Yes. Um, this one's, uh, as a U.S. player, I mean, obviously the CTR marker is very handy to block um, access to the WMDs. Um, and this one is kind of got, like, it doesn't matter which way things go. There's always going to be a negative effect. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I don't like playing it, but many times there are other worse events I'm mitigating, so I yeah, have to you you know, sort of swallow suck this up, one. Yeah, yeah the, the lesser up. of two evils kind of yeah. thing. Yes. Yeah, and it's kind of a card for me. Um, it does a lot of things, which I do like. So, you know, uh, caucus opposite of the U.S. and then... Uh, or Central or Asia. test and shift Central Asia, one box towards yeah. adversary, which, yeah, so you that's know... Kind of, that's kind of nice, too, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, the more adversary countries you can have on the board, the better, because they're safe from uh, U.S. troops entering, and they kind of give you a kind of a safe haven to... Uh, do it, build up to jihad. There's not much the yeah. U.S. can do about it. So. But for two ops, yeah, it's kind of on the fence for me. Like I, I may, depending on the board situation, I think for the, this is very situational for me. Yeah. Okay. Gaza War. I hate this card. I love this card. This is one <laughs> I, I think I've actually drawn back up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yes. For all the three things that it offers, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. For, t- for two ops, not bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, easily sacrificed by the jihadi player to get all those effects, especially oh, yeah. at the at the beginning of of a turn. Um, it kind of sets the stage, right? Because you want you want the the random card to hopefully be you know a big three up, big fat three up of yeah. uh, U.S. event. 
you want to take the funding now when you can use it throughout the turn and you want to drop the prestige to kind of set the tone of the yeah of it's the a turn. great it's just it, it's a great card it's it's probably it's one of my favorites yeah this is one i'm holding on till the end and discarding to no effect if i possibly can because it's <laughs> yeah, so annoying for sure it's i mean annoying. if worst case if you have to play if you need the ops you can just hold it till the last card of your turn uh, or, I mean, it does, it's like any discarding kind of uh, thing. You know, if you have a really bad jihadi event, you can hang on to this to the second last card. You can drop that, uh, you know, that big nasty jihadi event to no effect at yeah. the cost of uh, prestige. prestige and giving. And a funding bump. Now, the funding bump will be canceled out by the funding drop every Correct. At, at the end yes, of the turn. Yes. So, so really, it's at, at that. So yeah. the cost, honestly, is one prestige, which depending on the event that I'm trying to get rid of, it may be worth it. Yes. Very worth it. Yes. But, uh, but usually it seems like this, this card always ends up in the jihadist hand and then you have to suffer the consequences. <laughs> That's the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Harari, Harari killed. Harari killed. They're anti-Syrian car bombed. Um, so test Lebanon, shift Syria adversary, and worse than its government's one level, but not as long as we're... So basically, we're getting Syria to the worst possible state. Yeah. I mean, typically, this just shifts Syria from neutral to adversary, and Lebanon tests as a poor neutral, and I, it's yeah, such a I non-event. Don't, this no card problem. is a little bit underwhelming for me. I don't... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not... It kind of sets the stage for Syria to potentially become more, um, you know, more of a... Of a of a uh, target for a major jihad but yeah it's a bit of a non-event and the card leaves the game after you use it yeah so. it's a one-time use yeah no i don't yeah. uh, i don't generally play this for the event myself yeah and i would totally I play this as the u.s I yeah I, and i wouldn't mind if you did play it but it wouldn't uh, really uh, yeah, yeah it's not of great effect yeah they can't, they can't all be winners. <laughs> yeah that's right that's right <laughs> and this is the last of the 10 cards h-e-u Extremists by Wayward Material. So it has to have, uh, there are conditions. Yes. So you have to have a cell in either Russia or Central Asia. And I would say that it's likely easier and more likely you're going to have a cell in a Central Asia than Russia at the moment this card turns up because uh, Russia is not uh, something, it's not a country you're going to swing to Islamist rule. <laughs> so. No, no, no. And no CTR uh, marker. Just depends on whether that card's come out yet, but. Um, so you remove the cell, you have to roll, Is it, do you have to hit a one? No, you, you roll as if one operation there. So if Central Asia is a poor, uh, oh, poorly so governed you have, you country. A 50-50, so that, that's not yeah. bad. But if you miss, yeah. you remove the cell. So I, yeah. to me, it's a small price to pay to get potentially a WMD. Yeah, um, agreed. And it, and it would be worth, I think, maneuvering uh, a cell to either Russia or Central Asia to get that 50-50 die roll. Um, honestly, because if CTR isn't out, that's the only thing that's going to block this. So, um, you know, it can potentially be that one of those kind of game shifting kind of things. So, uh, and th at the cost of losing the cell, it's it's next to no cost really. Yeah, for for the uh, yeah yeah, and it, it is only a two op card as well, so it's not like yeah, it's not your high end card. So yeah. it's, that's it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty reasonable uh, event to play. Yeah. Now, as the U.S., I mean, you can if Central Asia, um, you know, has been uh, is a as an adversary country. Maybe it's been been hit with uh, um, you know an event that that like XKGB, um, and it's an adversary. Then there's really not much you can do to stop this from happening. And really, it's just up to you whether you want to press your luck. Take if the two ops are are worth the the risk of a of the jihadist player getting a WMD. Uh, you can go for it. Uh, probably I'm going to try and discard this one if I possibly can, um, if if the risk is there. Now, if, you know, the the jihadist player has to know that you have it, and they have to know to have a cell ready to go in Russia or Central Asia. Yeah, so you, exactly. You might be able yeah. to get away with uh, playing it early in the turn before. <laughs> and, and, and actually maybe even disrupting out of there so that you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. So there, there is ways... I don't to know. That would be that. at a fair cost, though. So it really depends. It's still a 50 50 roll. Yeah. Um, or, against or you, less, I ass less. always assume you get the you you get a, a successful roll every time. So <laughs> that's a yeah. A guides my play. <laughs> but indeed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but anyway, I hope uh, you enjoyed this run through of the the next ten uh, cards in uh, in Labyrinth: War on Terror. And uh, please like and subscribe. 
I'm Cax. And I'm Nato. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Legendary Tactics. Take care.